Hi, this is JNM with a new ZBrush 4RA tutorial on how to use the Vector Displacement Mesh, or short VDM, brushes. Not how to create them, this will be covered in the future video. This one is just about the usage. So first let me explain what VDM is. Basically, a VDM is an alpha, but not a 2D, it's a 3D alpha. And this is deforming the underlying surface of a model by using a stored mesh. There is one limitation according to the resolution of this underlying mesh, and I will show you. Here I have a sphere, a DynaMesh, with a low resolution. And what I will try now is to select a VDM brush and apply it to this low poly surface. So I press B to open the brushes. And here you can see this chisel 3D. It contains some VDMs, or oh, this one is really nice, to create monsters and stuff like that. So let's select this one and then a particular brush, for example this teeth brush here. Okay, and now I can just drag this in, because I have the drag rack enabled, but you can see the result isn't really nice. The resolution is just too low. Of course, if you don't mind to lose the details of the VDMs, then you can go with that, but I don't think that's a good option. So I press Ctrl D to subdivide, again drag this in, still too low. Subdivide one more time. Yeah, this looks at least usable, but you can see that the transition here at the borders is not very smooth. So let's undo this and increase the focal shift to get a smoother transition. Here we go. Okay, nice. Now let me play around a little bit with the settings and the options that we have when using these VDM brushes. Currently I have the symmetry activated, you can see this, and the drag rect. This means I can set an initial position and then drag in my displacement brush and define the size by dragging. I can also activate the radial symmetry if I like. And create something like this here. Looks also cool. But let me disable the symmetry now and show you some more options. Okay, for example, let's switch from the drag rect to the drag dot. Alright, and now I select a different VDM brush. And now I can only define the position on my mesh. The size is always the same and it can be defined by setting the draw size of the brush. Okay, so what did we have? We had the draw size. We had the focal shift for setting the smoothness of the, of the transition. This one here. And what I also want to show you is using the Z intensity of the brush. Now it is 100 and I bring this down to let's say 20 or 30 and here you can see the effect. So as always the Z intensity defines the amount of depth information and this is also true for the VDM brush. Okay and the last thing I want to show you is to invert the direction by holding the Alt key down. Okay then you can Pull this VDM deformation to the inside of the underlying mesh. This could look really scary. I heard about a mental disorder which is called trypophobia. This is the fear of holes. <laughs> so I think if you are suffering from this, then this is definitely not the tool for you. But you can create really interesting stuff with this. Okay, there's just one more thing that I want to show you, and this is using the dot stroke in combination with lazy mouse. So I stroke over the surface here with the lazy mouse activated. 
but I want to increase the gap between these teeth. So I open the stroke menu. Okay, and increase the lazy step. Yeah, that's what I was going for. And you can also hold the Alt key down like before and invert the direction. Okay, I mentioned a different VDM library. This is this Chisel 3D that you can also use. And it contains other models like a nose or ears or something like that. By the way, I looked this up. What Chisel means, the German word is Meisel. <laughs> Just if you want to impress somebody, you can say Meisel and he said what the... And you can say, yeah, this is German for Chisel. Why don't you know that? Okay, my friends, I really hope you liked this introduction to VDM brushes. And if you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future video. Thanks a lot for watching. Think about supporting me on my Patreon and come back soon to JNM.